Hello, I'm Eric Smith, welcoming you to another episode of the Low Budget Review Show. On today's show, I'm going to talk about Orphans of Wonderland by Greg F. Gaffune, published by Sam Hain Books. At the time I'm recording this, it is March 4th, and this book just came out on March 3rd. Uh, so I'm getting a little more timely with my reviews. I was hoping to have this done uh, right before the release date. But unfortunately, I just finished it about uh, half an hour ago. So while it's fresh in my mind and fresh on the stands, new book smell, I want to talk about this. I love that cover. Probably my favorite Sam Hain cover at the moment. Uh, just beautiful. It would make a great tattoo, I think. It's a great image. So Orphans of Wonderland um, is about Joel Walker. Uh, he was an investigative reporter. And in the 80s, during the height of the Satanic Panic, uh, he started investigating a ritual, uh, the ritual murder of a young girl. And uh, he dug, dug in deep and just dug up a lot of stuff, uh, turned it into a best-selling book, went on the talk show circuit, but eventually it broke him down and he had a nervous breakdown, ended up in a mental hospital. But he got his life together, pulled himself together, and moved on. He moved away, got married, uh, still a reporter, but basically doing fluff pieces. Um, until uh, one of his childhood friends, Lonnie, is murdered. And Lonnie's daughter comes to Joel because she feels that the police aren't doing their best um, to figure out what happened. So she asks Joel, she knows about him. And knows that he used to be an investigative reporter, and she asks him to look into her father's death. Um, so Joel finally agrees and goes back to his hometown, and he starts digging in. And the deeper he digs, the further down the rabbit hole he goes, and uh, things start to get weird, and things may or may not connect with uh, not just the satanic panic, but some events that happened to Joel and his friends when they were kids, um, which may or may not have happened. It's one of those kinds of books. <laughs> um, and uh, that's the gist of it. I can't tell you too much more, because this really is... You don't want anything given away in this. Um, so I thought this was fantastic, and right off the bat I was looking forward to reading it, because I grew up in the heyday of the satanic panic. Uh, I remember the news stories. I remember Geraldo Rivera did a one-hour special on satanic cults. It was basically mass hysteria in the United States, and people just were seeing cults everywhere. Um, not just in that damn devil music, but uh, just in, in suburbia. Uh, the, uh, allegedly hidden cults. Um just behind the white picket fences, performing rituals in their basements and such. And it was, it was just craziness. Uh, so the fact that this touches on that right off the bat, I'm in. Because I find that stuff fascinating. Um, I read a great book uh, in the 90s, I think. It was called Satanic Panic, which is a nonfiction book all about that whole thing. Uh, great book. Look it up if you're interested. But uh, it's a subject near and dear to me, so I was ready to jump into this. And um, Mr. Gaffune uh, does a great job with the, the subject matter. Um, it, it's quite interesting. Uh, and he uh, gets into some other things that I can't really mention here. The whole satanic thing is mentioned on the back cover. That's why I feel it's safe to talk about that. But it gets into some, once Joel starts digging... Gets into some other things that I don't want to mention here, but are also subjects that are near and dear to me. Just uh, stuff that fascinates me. Um, and uh, I, I like to read about this stuff. And again, sorry I can't say anything. Well, I could, but I'm not going to because uh, you're going to want to find out for yourself. Uh, so Greg F. Gaffune is one of the creepiest writers I know. Wait a minute, that didn't come out right. He writes some of the creepiest stories uh, that I've ever read. That's a little better. Um, 
I don't personally know the guy. He could be creepy. I don't know, but he could be a nice guy. I like to think uh, that he's a nice guy. Um, but yeah, what he writes is so creepy. It'll literally make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, send a chill down your spine. Um, just his style. Just the, the, the normal world is just a veneer over something darker. And, and he brings that to the surface. Um, actually, the best thing I can say is that uh, I had this friend who was really, really a hardcore horror fan. And it took so, so much to elicit a reaction from her. Um, I mean, she could read the hardest of hardcore stuff, and she would enjoy it. Uh, but that's, you know, she'd enjoy it as we do. But she was reading one of uh, Gafune's older books, Children of Chaos, and there came a time when she contacted me on Skype and told me she had just read something that, again, literally gave her chills, freaked her out. She had to stop reading. And and this is the guy that did that to her. And this is a woman that thinks the, uh, a Serbian film is, is light Sunday viewing. Um... Of course, that's something completely different. Then, that's not creepy. This is would be a good creepy movie. I don't know. Nothing quite matches how creepy this stuff can be. And I know I say creepy a lot, but that's the perfect word for it. It really just gets under your skin. Um, it's just something. The way he writes, uh, everything's just so normal, and then he just puts that little bit in there that makes you realize that it's not normal. Um, great writing, very clean and smooth, um, great characters, and as always, for those who have watched my videos about books, you know how important character is. Uh, Joel Walker is the everyman, you know, he's our vehicle, the reader's vehicle into this world where they're, uh, riding along with him, investigating along with him, learning, um learning things as he learns them. Um, and this is one of those books. I don't think there's anything that we the reader learn that doesn't come from Joel Walker learning it. Um, he is the complete focus of this story. Um, and uh, he's, he's a, a great character. A lot of great characters in here. We, we meet... Uh, or learn about his childhood friends, uh, Lonnie, Sal, Dorsey, Lonnie, Sal, Dorsey, and Trent. And then there's Joel, so there's the five of them. Um, and they're all interesting, all different, distinct personalities. Um, I think my favorite character, though, is uh, Lonnie's neighbor, B. She is <laughs> just incredibly entertaining. Please ignore that noise that you may have just heard. That's my computer doing things. Um, so yeah, B lives upstairs from Lonnie. Joel meets her once he starts investigating Lonnie's death. And she's just just a great fun, for lack of a better word, character. I'm not sure there's anything really fun in this book. Um, but she's definitely a, a very entertaining, very original. I liked her a lot. Um, so... You know, if you want to read something that's just really good, uh, if you want to read something that's really creepy, uh, if you want to read something that ties into the whole satanic panic, which again, a subject I find fascinating. Other subjects in here that I find fascinating that I'm not going to mention. Um, I suppose if you want to know what they are, I usually wait till the end of the video to mention that the comments will be open for spoilers as long as you're polite and post a spoiler warning. So if if you want to know a little bit more about this before you go and pick it up, just ask me in the comments and I'll uh, post a little spoiler warning and then tell you whatever you want to know. Because um, this is definitely a horror thriller mystery. Um, it's, you know, you're going to pick things up as you read it. And I don't want to say what those things are. Um, but, oh, just such a great cover. So... That's uh, basically Orphans of Wonderland by Greg F. Gafune. 
think I covered everything I wanted to talk about. Characters, well written, creepy as hell. I think that's about it. Um, so, as I said, comments will be open for spoilers. Um, I'll post a link for the book in the description down below. I'll have one for Amazon and one for Sam Hain. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, um, please post them in the comments below. Just going to keep showing. I could have done this whole video with just that showing, and I would have been happy with it. Just absolutely love that cover. If Sam Hain can keep up that quality of cover, you know, it's it's simple, but it's just just really fantastic. All right, I'm going to stop rambling about the cover and everything. <laughs> Pick it up. I'm going to say his name one more time just because I enjoy saying Greg F. Gafune. Orphans of Wonderland. A fantastic book. Um, I really wish uh, the bookstores around here actually carried Sam Hain stuff because there's so many great authors in their stable um, that, that more people need to be reading, and this is definitely one of them. Um, pick up anything you can by this guy, but especially this, this is a great starting point. This will blow you away. Um, all right, so that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, oh, I got to set this up. Until next time, read more books.